So this year we set a target for all of our 160 children to learn how to use a 3D printer. And we linked it all into Tim Peake's space mission. Every year groups designed a different type of object linked to whatever they were learning in the curriculum. Um, and today, on the last day of the year, we've managed to print off our final few objects. Um, and we've got all these boxes of objects ready to go to classes this afternoon and children for the first time will get to take home a 3D printed object. So we're really proud that in fact we've been able to offer this opportunity to our children and our children are so excited to be able to take their objects home today. Using the 3D printer has given our children a huge range of skills. It's given them the chance to think about space in their science. Children have thought about architecture, some of them have designed buildings. Um, my class have been looking at asthma inhalers so they've been thinking about the health, uh, the health benefits of um, using and redesigning asthma inhalers. Children have learnt about science by designing little flower pots and plant pots. They've obviously learnt a lot about computing, they've learnt about materials, they've learnt about the application of heat and how the 3D printer actually works. But a lot of them have developed their problem solving skills. The reason we made the pots is because um, we were doing a project like about Tim Peak and we had some rocket seeds and some seeds from Earth. And every day we were like um, seeing how high they were and everything. So we were um, going to be so we started making them on the computer, and then we printed them out. And I'm really I'm really happy about how mine came out. It took actually quite a long time doing it, and um, it actually looks quite good, but not how I wanted it. Was it exciting using the printer? Yes, it was very exciting and it's my very first time using a printer, um, a 3D printer and it's really awesome. I like the shape. So this was designed by someone who's four years old, thinking about travel and transportation. They've been thinking about um, how a rocket flies in the best shape to get it to cut through the air so it flies up to space with Tim Peake hopefully carried safely in it. We've got children who are a little bit older, we've been thinking about asthma inhalers, this is one of the asthma inhalers that's been designed, thinking about what design would be pleasing for children, so it actually, actually works. I'm afraid the canister's out of gas, but <laughs> otherwise you'd see something shooting out the front of the tractor here. Um, right up to some high school children who came over, and they designed some um, spanners that could actually be 3D printed and used by Tim Peake on the space station um, in a sort of Apollo 13 situation to solve emergency problems and tighten wrenches and bolts of irregular sizes. So it's our problem solving skills that I think will be the legacy of this project, as well as children really engaging with the new technology. I mean, obviously we've got the, the rockets that our, you know, our children, our youngest children have been designing, right up to um, designing buildings for a model community where children have been designing veterinary centers and um, space ports and a town hall as well which has just been printed which is fantastic. Probably my favourite part was designing because I got to design the um, supermarket I like designing that because I put a um, helicopter pad on the top and it was really fun. What was your favourite thing about making the town hall because it's got quite a futuristic design to it was that something you wanted to do was that something you planned to do or did it just turn out like that? Uh, we planned to do it and the shape was like, we had difficulty making the shape but we eventually got it and it was just really fun and we had like solar panels, we had ponds, we had like a animal centre. Everyone had lots of fun and I think it helped us because like when we did it some people didn't know how, like other people came to help so it took teamwork. So we want to make sure we keep going with this. We um, fundraised from our school community to buy the 3D printer um, and we wanted to make sure that every child was having a go this year. We've already got children who are in our year 6 class who've been doing designs for um, a model community um, where they've been looking at architecture and working out building designs and specifications who are already asking questions about how to be an architect and how to use 3D printing to make designs and models for communities, for buildings of the future. I think this has been a real inspiration for our children to have a look at how 3D printing is changing the way we work. It's changing the way we think about how we educate our children. Um, and I think for this generation of children, it's just something that they will use in the future, um, a tool that will be there for them to use their own imaginations with, to develop their ideas with. 
and uh, what they'll do when they go on from here, I'm sure will amaze us all.